Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 2 The Shadows of Om. And we are here in the promenade where we just escaped. Ah, yes, the city. With all its people and their accumulated wealth, yes. Where we had just escaped the uh, mage Arenicus, uh, who got taken in by the cops, I guess the, the magic cops, of the city of Athkatla, which is where we're at, which is in the nation of Om. And they also took uh, Imowen because she had to go and fire a magic missile at uh, Arenicus before the, the police arrived. Uh, so she's imprisoned as well with, as well as Arenicus, and we need to try to, one, get our bearings of where we're at, who's in power, how do we get on their good side, and how do we use them to get what we want, which is M1 back and Arenicus's head. Those are the two things we want, and then we, and then we'll deal with what happened in Baldur's Gate, right? We get that taken care of, and then we can go back to Baldur's Gate and take back our power there, but one step at a time. So we went into the uh, the tavern here, which is called the the Mithrest the Mithrest Inn, and we had a good night's sleep, although not a great night's sleep because we're still injured. But now we're just gonna go around and start exploring, uh, see what we can uh, uh, dig up around this town. So we got a spell store and the Den of Seven Veils over here, as well as the Temple of Elmeter. Let's go up to the uh, the spell store first. I hope this is worth it. Gonna take a look around, talk to the locals. Get a feel of the town. Hess. Well, you look like the sort who has more than two gold pieces to rub together. A good business to you, my lord. I do not recognize you, I think. Would it be impertinent for Hess to inquire as to your name? Not at all. I am Heliax. I'm not interested in divulging my name. One cannot be too careful. Just show me what you have what you bra what you have to sell. And let's ha or let's leave it at that, shall we? No, uh we'll be polite, you know. Being polite is the key to, uh, you know, finding people's information. Especially when you don't have, like, a power base behind you and you can intimidate them. I'm Heliax. Well met, Heliax. And I peril to you. Feel free to peruse my goods and ask questions naturally. Yes, show me what services you have. Perhaps you could tell me where I could find a suitable inn. I'm looking for quality goods, perhaps magical items and the like. Could you direct me to the temple or such where I might receive healing? Thank you. Um... Let's ask him the questions first. Uh, where would you go to sleep? I do not know if I would call it suitable, but you could certainly look to the copper coronet in the slums. It is better than ore on credit, as they say. Hmm. Quality goods, magical items and such. I have little taste for magic, but sometimes an item of that nature comes into my possession. You could try the adventurer mart for such things. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, temples. There are several places of worship that could assist you in the temple district, my friend. A shrine to Elmeter is also close by, if you wish. All right, what do you have? As you wish. Unfortunately, my stock is not what it once was, with the troubles of late, but it is still a good selection. I wonder what troubles of late he's talking about. To be honest, man, I just really want to sell to you. I don't... I mean, we'll look what you have, but I want your money. Um... Is this a thing? No, let's just sell that. Sell that. Okay. And then sell all that. And then over here, what do you have? So the scimitar, so the helmet, little gem, small shield, quarter staff. I don't want the quarter staff. Uh, we'll keep all the magical stuff. That's something we'll keep. We'll keep that. Keep the scrolls. Yeah. Uh, 25 gold from that. And for you, we've got... We want to keep the mace, right? Because you are. we want you to have... You're going to dual wield maces. We can sell all this stuff. Keep the wands. Uh, we can sell the short bow. Sell the quarter staff. Okay. And then you, do you have anything? You can sell these things. Good. So we have 2,100 gold. What do you have? Anything super neat? No. All right. Well, thank you, Hess. Yeah. We got a spell seller over here. Uh, Galump, the bookseller or bookkeeper. Wait, are you a bookkeeper or a spell store? Ah, maybe sell scrolls. Welcome to my humble establishment. 
Right jolly day, eh, sir? You be waiting, or you be wanting to make, or to take a grander, a gander at me bookies and scrolls? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, so you're a scroll vendor. Is that all you have in a scroll case? Uh, do I want to buy a scroll case right now? Yes, I do. Ooh, we could steal. I forgot. Well, hold on. Let, we are quite the thief. Welcome to my humble establishment. I forgot we can steal things. Uh, I don't like the screens going like that. Steal. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you. All right, and now we can... Uh, put all the scrolls in there. Let's just pass the uh, spell scroll around. Or the scroll carrier. There you go. That saves us some space. And you, you'll hold on to it. Cool. Give me some direction. I want to steal all this stuff so badly. We'll hold off on stealing for now, though. Okay, so this seemed like it might be another tavern. Yeah. Or like a bar, just maybe. We got a Latello de, ben de Benito. Hello, sir. Hello there. Hello, hello. Welcome to, uh, what time is it? It's afternoon? Ah, then welcome to the afternoon showing of the talents of a Latello de Benito. A rousing wave of indifference from the crowd yet again. Ah, well. If I let such things bother me, I would have given up the stage years ago. As per the wishes of the most of most of my audience, unfortunately. At least the occasional dwarf applauds. Well, doesn't swear and leave anyway. Okay. <laughs> hmm, let's see. A tale of familiar familial woes to tent tantalize your ear Oh my god. <laughs> A tale of familial woe to tantalize your tears and tempt your time and interest. <laughs> Raised of spells and casting well, but always wanting better. To sing of nights and days of, of yore, to leave the robes that, that fetter. A wizard prone to song and prose, though oft accused of failing, I shall sing despite the odds. Will you shut your bloody wailing? Uh, well finished, Mrs. Patrick, Patricia. Uh, you have a fine ear for, for rhyme, though I would hope you'd be more supporting of your own employees. I support you sticking I support you sticking to spells and figures. Your security and a financial advisor, not the entertainment. Hit the road if you want to form want a form for your singing. Ah, very well, Mrs. Patricia. Thank you for your indulgences thus far. Poor guy. Hello, Patricia. Is this a, a tavern as well as a bar? Hello. Oh lovely. Yet another member of the male species come to drink himself to st into a stupor. No doubt, and vomit upon me perfectly clean floors. <laughs> what be it exactly that ye want? Uh, I'm not a male, I'm a half elf. Hmm, interesting. Is that implying that half elves have different genders, or is it just like. What do you call a. What do you call a boy half elf, <laughs> if not a male? Uh, why is this place called the Den of Seven Veils? You must. You must hear things. You must hear things. Mind if I ask a question or two? See your services. I'm not... Ma Let's go with number two. I want to see what it, got, what, what it leads to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard it all before. Human, elf, dwarf, you're all the same. Walking about with a swagger like you own the place and nary a brain to be found except what's twixt your legs. Now she knows me well. So does ye have an inclination to actually buy something? Or was ye thinking instead of taking your male attitude elsewhere? Hmm. Why is this place called the Den of Seven Veils? It served to draw ye in, didn't it? Nah, I was just... I go through every door, to be honest. Now, don't be bothering me with useless questions. I only stand here so long as... So long and suffer ye stench, male. Hmm. I wonder what she... Uh, how she acts if you're playing a female character. Uh, you must hear things. My, uh, mind if I ask you a question or two? Of course I mind. You think I have nothing better to do? You want questions answered? Go find some oracle or some such and leave me be. Yes, we have. Fine, but I take your coin up front. And don't be wheedling me for a tab e either. Because I am, I'll am i not be providing you with one. Okay. Yeah, I guess we'll have a drink here. Uh, I don't really like this person, so we'll just get the cheapest one. Dragon's beer. 
The sewers beneath the city can be entered in many ways, but it is a haven for thieves and strange creatures that will kill you without a second thought. Lovely. I'm waiting if it must be done. Alright, anybody of importance back here or over here? No? Okay. Shall we go upstairs and see if there's any uh, patrons worth talking to up here? I don't think we did that in the uh, the other tavern. Maybe we'll stop by there and just double check. Hello. It's probably best left to me. Orc slicer. Enough without ye bother on me. Ming car pebble crusher. Ha! If it da if it daren't be a puny half elf dressed up as a mighty adventure, I'd say. Ha ha! Did your mama let you out of the up from under her skirt, little one? Best you be running back now. Ha! <laughs> that be a good jest, Minkar, my friend. Ha! A good jest, says Smelly. A good jest, he says. Hey, man. You tell your stinking fart-smelling imp to stop calling me Smelly. The name be, uh, Smelove. Orc Slicer. If he does say it again, I'll smash him into impish goo. Papa, Papa. Smelly's threatening me again. He is threatening. Calm yourself, Pookie. As for you, you barbarian knucklehead. Threaten my familiar once again, and you'll spend the rest of the evening as a toad. Am I understood? What? You dare besmirch my the honor of smell of orc slicer? I will. Enough. Blast it. I tire of your bickering. Now, as for ye, little half elf, you best you best take yourself where ye are more welcome. This bar be big enough for only for one of us, or only for us, and nay more. Okay, I'm leaving. No need to get upset. How about I buy you a drink? There's no need for us to be on harsh terms. Watch it, dwarf. I'll not talk. Take insults. Insults for long. Buy him a drink. You can take your drink and shove it where the sun won't be shining, you blasted lily half-elf. I'll naze associate with a quivering weakling in me own bar. So be off with ye. Ha, huh, so you you so funny, Minkar. Smay love laughs heartily at your <laughs> insulting manner. That was another guy there. Really, Mankar, is all this necessary? Must you agitate everyone who comes into this bar? Blasted right, I must. We be celebrating, Brennan, and I'll be damned if I'm going to drink while the odor of yon half-elf offends me nostrils. Now be off, half-elf, before you has a taste of me axe. All right, all right, we'll leave. Ha! Off you go, then, cur. Hang your tail, twixt your legs, and scurry off like the cowardly dogs that you are. Ha-ha. Yeah, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> I'll be back. Don't worry. Just don't want to start. It's, it wouldn't be smart to start trouble right now. Not until we uh, save it, Mawin. Is there a, a door? There's a door. There's not like a um, set of stairs or anything. Can we go back here? Rebecca. Hi, Rebecca. Whatever you wish. Welcome to the Mithrist, sir. Please see Pugney if you wish to partake of the lavish splendors of the inn. Okay. Bye, Rebecca. Alright, let's go down to the Temple of Elmater. Elmater. However you pronounce his name. Which is this building right here. I didn't miss anything up there, right? Just, uh, just those uh, barrels and stuff. Temple of Elmeter. Ooh, small place. Beggar child and priestess of Elmeter. It's done. Oh, there's two beggar child. Oh, and I can talk to them. You have my greetings, faithful one. Greetings, my brother, and welcome to the humble abode of the one who endures. Elmeter shelters all in need and suffers himself for others' pain. Uh, tell me about Elmeter, if you could. Elmeter is the god of compassion and endurance, my brother. We care for the lost children of the city, such as the crying God's will. Can I see your services? Of course, my brother. Please come with me. Okay, so we can donate that. In the last game, I think that oh, the only thing this did was raise your reputation. Which we don't want to do. We can cure our wounds. They're kind of expensive. I don't really think we need that. Buy potions. That could be useful. Ooh, raise dead scrolls. I... I don't believe I ever saw those in the base game. I can't steal them, though. That's unfortunate. Why can't I, like, un unselect these? I 
I mean, I can't afford that, so. <laughs> okay, good. I didn't take all my money. <laughs> all right, well, yeah. good to know that we can buy uh, raised dead scrolls. Cities always teem with evil and decay. Let's give it a done. good shake and see what falls out. Okay. We got Lady Beth and Lur down here. Did we talk to Lur already? His name sounds familiar. Yeah, I think this is the guy who came up to us before. Where in the ble where in the bleeding blazes did ye come from? I can hardly believe that the bleeding blaze went crazy. He did. Yeah, yeah, we've talked to this guy already. We talked to him last episode, but we did not talk to Lady Beth here. So long as you are polite, I shall tolerate you. Greetings to you. Did you have aught to do with the spectacle that I just witnessed? Hmm? No doubt, more warring peasants in that guild business. I'm of a of a sort, I suppose. That wizard who was taken away, do you know who he was? Or who he is? In a way, perhaps. Can you tell me where I am? I'm a friend of the woman that was taken with the wizard. Do you know who took them and where they went? Did you see what happened? Okay, so let's see what this lady has. Uh, do you know who that wizard was that was taken away? I'm afraid not. Anyone who practices magic without his license does it in seclusion. The cowled wizards arrest those who don't, such as your mysterious wizard. How one gets a license from the cowled wizards to use magic, I do not know. Although I imagine someone in the government district must. The cowled wizards? Are they the ones who took Emma Wynn and the wizard? Where did they go? The girl was a friend of yours? Well, she was a spellcaster, and so both she and the other were taken away by the cowled wizards. Take care, Heliax. I have heard of these cowled wizards. Spellcasters of the highest order. The only magic users allowed in Am, um, I believe. Undue practice of magic is forbidden here, naturally. Where the wizards where the wizards would take your friend, however, I do not know. Well I've no doubt in my well I've no doubt in my mind that the that, that wizard is a criminal to begin with. Do you know who he is? Hmm. Do you know who he is now? No, no. And where might he be? Can you tell me where I am? Ah, I thought you must be an outlander from your accent and garb. Welcome to Athkatla, the city of coin. Athkatla? The capital of Om? Um, you wouldn't know who the wizard was. Okay. Do you know who those men were? Where they might have gone? I see. Did you happen to witness anything? everything that happened here? Yeah, did you witness everything? Not much, my lord. Everyone here in the promenade was quite frightened when the wizard began fighting those men, the ones in black. The fire and lightning had us all running, and much of the promenade here has been destroyed. It is good that the wizard was arrested for his recklessness. The promenade? Yes, you are in Waukeen's promenade in Athkatla. You are new here, as, as I suspected. Well, I told you that already. If you are looking for more answers, you will find others of your ilk at a place called the Copper Coronet in the slums. No disrespect intended, naturally. I don't know how to take that, to be honest. Um... Anything else we need to ask you? Who were the men in black? I suspect that those men were shadow thieves. In fact, from the local guild. Why they would attack a wizard, however, I have no idea. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, you mentioned guilds. Why would you associate with that with the violence here? I'm not as distanced from the workings of the city as some nobles might be. I have heard the m mutterings of our stable boy and his kin. Thieves rule the night and war against those that would take it from them. It would not be unusual for it to spill out, spill unto the day. Hmm. Thank you. Very well. A good business to you, my lord. And a good business to you as well. Hello. Declare yourself. Special clients only. Move on. Okay. For sure. You'll never have any more problems in the bedroom, if you know what I mean. Never have any more problems in the bedroom? Who said that? I need to get to them. Alright. We got a, uh... This was a circus tent? I guess we'll check it. Hello, Garen. Who are you? My mommy's still inside. They say she can't come out. What are you talking about, child? Quit your whining. It's got nothing to do with me. I'll see what I can do, little boy. What are you talking about? My mama went into the tent to see a show, but something happened, and now nobody comes out. There's gar the there's guards who won't let nobody in anymore too. But my mama's in there. I want my mama. That's tough. It's a tough break, child. Too bad. <laughs> uh, it's a tough break, child. 
I, I, I just want my mama. For shame, Heliax, that you can speak to a child so. Have you no compassion for the helpless? To hear any no compassion for the helpless. Hold, oh, this tent has been closed off for our, for your own safety, citizen. The circus has been closed until this matter is solved. Why? What has occurred here? We are not exactly sure. There was no problem until the show was scheduled earlier in the morning. Apparently, the show began well enough, and then something occurred. Occurred. Nobody has come out of the tent who went in for the show, and everybody we have sent in to investigate has not come out either. Foul magic is, foul magic is no doubt involved here. We are waiting for the cowled wizards to arrive. They will be able to solve this, I'm sure. Nobody at all is getting out? Well, we have been told that one of the animal trainers darted out of the show, darted out after the show began, but we have not been able to find him yet. Hmm. I can handle myself. Perhaps I can solve the problem for you. Very well, then. I'll not stop you if you wish to risk yourself, citizen. You were warned. It is no risk. Not so long as we have swords and braveness. To the brim, uh, to the brim of the tall glass of goodness, right, Boo? We should be careful, Heliax. There is no telling what is going on within this within if the city guard can't handle it. Be prepared for anything, is what I always say. Do you always say that? Uh, I mean, let's see. The fuck, this magical dash tense. It's probably <laughs> best left to me. A genie. Aha, I see a wayfarer has come to amuse Kala. You must answer a riddle, naturally, ere I will allow you to pass this bridge. Are you ready to hear it? And why would I want to pass over this bridge? I prefer to know who this Kala is before I play your games. Uh, why would I want to pass over the bridge? Because it is symbolic of your progression to the enlightenment and understanding, fool. Are you ready to proceed? Why, who are you? Kala does not reveal himself to those who are not worthy. Are you ready to begin? Sure. Ha ha ha, you amuse me, little mortal. Bluster as you wish. I shall not allow you to pass until you have solved my puzzle. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Kala does not reveal himself to those who are not worthy. Are you ready? Very well. Excellent. A princess is as old as the prince will be when the princess is twice as old as the prince was when the princess's age was half the sum of their present age. Which of the following then could be true? Okay. A princess is as old as the prince will be when the princess is twice as old as the prince was when the princess's age was half the sum of their present age. Which of the following must be true? Wait a minute. <laughs> so the princess is as old as the prince will be when the princess is twice as old as the prince was when the princess's age I need math or something. I need a pencil. <laughs> the prince is 20 and the princess is 30. The prince is 40 and the princess is 30. 30 and 40 or 30 and 20. They're both the same age. I sure they don't know. Okay. So, let's just say the prince is 20. Let's, let's just evaluate the first one. So, we have 20 and 30. So, the princess is as old as the prince will be when the princess is twice as as old as the prince was when the princess's age was half the sum of their present age. <laughs> wow, this is just like convoluted. Um, it's twice as old as the prince was when the princess's age was half the sum of their present age. A princess is as old as the prince will be so she's going to be the same age as the prince when the princess is twice as old as the prince was wait they're the same age right <laughs> nope I'm bad <laughs> Wrong, haha. -ha. The prince, I am afraid, is 30 years old. The princess is most assuredly 40. Being benevolent, sort, I shall give you one more riddle. Thank you. Here it is, then, my friend. The poorest have it, the richest need it. But if either were to, but if either were to eat it, they would certainly perish. Tell me what it is. Uh, the poorest have it, and the richest need it. If they eat it, 
they would perish. The poor don't have food or wealth, right? Uh, nothing. Ah, you are correct. That was a much easier one. Maybe the first... The first one probably wasn't that hard, but, like... <laughs> I don't know. Ah, you are correct. The mighty Kala respects those with a most agile and quick mind. Proceed across my... With my blessing. Thank you, Kala. Okay. How are we doing on experience, anyway? Oh, pretty good. She's actually really close. Getting level 10, that's nice. So he started at around the same level as me then. Good to know. Give me some direct not a concern. Might have been a good idea to like rest, huh? Before we came in here. Uh so we got that entranceway. Here animals. Wolves. Let's go around. Make sure there's not anything to see around here. Oh my no. Oh my no. Why did it have to be shadows? Weapon has no effect. Weapon has no effect. Ah. All of our weapons are ineffective. I hope this is worth it. Do I have any kind of magic here that's going to help me? I don't actually think I do. We could call lightning. Does Shalele help me with that? I don't have Shalele on her. You have Shalele? I punch. You are just a bless. I am ready. I await I your need. Yeah. Uh oh, how do we kill this guy then? <laughs> Unaffected by effects, okay. Um Can you use scrolls? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Can you use wands? Can any of you use wands? God damn it. Uh huh. Potion of fire breath. Give me some. Get behind her. I'll see to it. Yes. There you go. I'm waiting. It's done. <laughs> Do you have any more of those? <laughs> Probably don't want to go that way, huh? Okay. Well, we can't do that every time, so that's a problem. What else do we have? Oh, we have our wands. Oh, excuse me. That's not going to help us. We have Call Lightning, too. But let, let me read what Call Lightning ready. does. We only have one of them, so it's not like... Call Lightning must be cast outside, otherwise it will not work. Okay, so we can't even cast it. Never mind. We have Hold Animal. That's not going to help me. Charm Person. That's not going to help. Resist Fire. Not going to help. Park Skin. Not going to help. Called wooden beings. What kind of wooden beings? Uh, the nymph. Priest spells. Mm, I don't think that's going to help me here. And raise dead. And heal. Okay. Can we use cure wounds on them? Are they undead creatures? Shadows? Is that a thing? I don't know if I ever used or tried that. Uh, Okay, it doesn't seem like it affects people that don't have bodies. So it wouldn't work on them. Uh, I mean, yeah. let's save it, just I'm in case. There. Who are you? Oh, whoever you are, you must flee this place at once. He's, he's killed everyone else who has come into this place. Almost. Oh, please, run! Eri. 
Who were you talking about? Who killed everyone? How can a monster such as you have such a sweet voice? I'm not going anywhere until I get an explanation. I'm not about to believe I'm not about to believe a foul creature such as yourself. Have at you. Perhaps you're right, I should go. Who are you talking about? Who killed everyone? Kala. Oh, I don't know what he's done exactly or how, but everything here is an illusion. But it's magic that can't hurt you, if you believe in it. Oh, you probably don't understand, do you? I I don't know what he's done to the tent or with the others who have come in, but their deaths are real. You must run. Who are you? How is it a monster has the voice of a young woman? I'm not going anywhere. I'm just talking... Uh, who are you? I... I'm not a monster. I'm an elf. A winged elf. Or at least I was. This... This covering you... you this covering you see is some kind of illusion. But if you believe in it, then it becomes real. P please believe me. Now go before something happens to you. I beg of you. Never heard of a winged elf. What are you talking about? I... I come from a race of winged elves. Although... Uh, there aren't many of us left. From Fania Dale. In the south. My wings were cut off a long time ago, though. But... But that isn't important. This place is too dangerous. Go back to the city and warn everyone what's happening here. You must flee. I need to know exactly what's happening here first. Oh, I hope you don't end up like... Like the others, but... All right. M my name is Eri. I... Work in the circus with my uncle. Quail. I don't know exactly what happened, but everything changed a few days ago. Everything became chaos and turned into what you see here. Although, it's, it all isn't real. It's an illusion. The minions, they all say they, are, they serve Kala, so I know he's behind all of this. He's an illusionist in the circus, but I don't understand how he was able to do all of this. He must be stopped before he hurts any more people. Please, if, if you release me from my chains, I can help you to stop him. Chains? I don't see any chains on you. The chains are invisible, covered by the illusion, and and they aren't magical. They prevent me from casting my own spells, and they remain they maintain the illusion which is placed on me. Okay. Mm why can I not just dispel the illusions here? Yeah, why can't I just dispel? I don't know. I, I tried earlier when this first happened. Kala's spells are too powerful somehow. He's he's never been that good, though, so I don't know what what he's done. If you free me though, together we can find out and stop him. And and hopefully rescue my uncle Quail. How do I release you then? You, you need the key to the chains, but, but it won't look like a key. There are a couple of commoners in the north side of th of this chamber. Don't be fooled by the illusions, though. They are monsters. They have a sword which is actually my key. If you get it from them, I can remove the chain and regain my normal form. But please be careful. You, you can't trust anything you see here. Okay. Investigate the circus tent. Give me some direction. As long as they're not shadows, like I can handle them. A pleasure slave. Is this the north part? Hi. I am here to serve. Welcome, Lord of Lord, to Kala's realm. Be thee not of impure mind, for surely Lord Kala shall destroy thee. Be thee not of impure heart, or thou wilt surely destroy thyself. Kala is the one ruler, the one true being. Who exactly is Kala? And why is this realm of his... And where is this realm of his that I have come to? Thank you for, the, for your welcome, and I shall most certainly beware. Kala's blessings upon thee, Lord. Yeah, we'll be, uh, we'll be good. Are those the two commoners? What did I... There's like a thing I could click on. Oh, no, it's just telling me I'm spinning. I'm waiting if it must be done. What's going on? Can we not go that way? Oh, I guess not. That's like an actual door. I gotta go this way. A spider. A spider. That's creepy. Oh, I am a simple woman. P please don't hurt me. Oh, what am I to do? You don't seem like any creature I've encountered before. What exactly is going on here? Oh, I don't know. All I know is that I came into the tent to watch the performance. A gnome called on the stage, or came on the stage, and began to perform some kind of magical act. It was quite silly. It was obvious that whatever the gnome was trying to do wasn't working. His magic fizzled, and everyone started laughing. I thought it was part of the act, so I laughed too. And then everything began changing. People started transforming into creatures and then back into themselves. The world shifted somehow, and I felt so sick and horrified. 
I think I passed out when I woke up. I've been turned into this into this monstrosity. I I don't know what to do. My son didn't come into the tent with me, and I'm frightened to think what may have happened to him. Hmm. Who are the peasants here? They they are not people. They're vicious and dangerous. I've seen them kill people. You must stop them. Do you know where Kala is? No. No, I don't. But that woman over there seems to know something about him. Perhaps if you talk to her. I must leave you for now. Uh, Alright. Do be careful of those peasants. Alright. But we will be more than more than careful. A part of me wants to give not even give them a chance at the talk. And you know what? We're Let's not. Do this. Kill them. Painful. Did you take damage already? Come on, guys. Good. Yep, attack him too. Who's he attacking? Attacks Heliax? What do you need? I am Isn't this me? Uh, it's probably the best left to me. Get him trapped. There we go. And we'll pick up this friend scroll, scroll and the ogre's sword. The ogre's sword. An ogre with a woman's voice has asked for the sword, claiming that it will break the illusion cast over her. Okay. It's a cool looking sword. Give me some direct. Hey, not a concern. Yep. You don't need to tell Heliax twice to, you know, go murder some peasants. For a good cause, of course. You, you had the key, or, or rather the, the sword. Please, please give it to me, and, and I can be rid of this illusionary form at last. Hmm. Not so fast. How much will you give me for it? Hold. I'm not about to fall for your trick. I'm not. A, I'm about to give a monster a weapon. Hold. Um, um, what's it worth? What? Oh, all I have, which which is almost nothing. Please. I will do whatever I can for you, but I can do nothing until you give me the key and I am free from my chains. You ask too much and grant too little. It is mine and you shall never and you shall not have it. Very well. I shall trust you and give you the sword. I'm not about to fall for this trick. Give a monster a sword, eh? I don't think so. Very well. I thank you for your trust. The sword is actually a key that unlocks the chains that powers my horrible illusion. Oh hey, she was telling the truth. Thank you, Beavar. Oh, we must find Quail and stop Kala before he does any more harm. She looks a lot like Jahira. I mean, they're both elves, but like even like the the hair is similar. I feel like. Okay. Join with us, and we, is she a mage? Because we really could use a mage. Join with us, and we will search for him together in this place. Wait here, then I will go further into the citadel, and we'll come back later. No intention of going further into this place. I've rescued you, and that's all I will do. I am leaving now. Join with us. Y you would let me join you? Uh, all right. Come, let's find Quail. Who knows what they've done to him? I think you should know, Eri, that my ultimate goal is to rescue a friend of mine, Emmelwyn, who has been captured by the cowed wizards. It could be dangerous. <laughs> yeah, if you join me for this quest right here, you have to join me for all my quests for all of time um it's a, a a contract bound in blood so if you refuse you will die so i hope you're okay with that by the way <laughs> so you're gonna help me do everything you should be aware perhaps that i am hunting a very powerful mage named arenicus it would no doubt be a dangerous task i mean i mean i don't have no reason to tell her that stuff let's go All right, Ari. Let's see what she's all about. She's a cleric mage. Wow, she's pretty too. Uh, level six. Wonder how much she will level up. Wonder if it's gonna be like uh, the first game where like they just get like put up to your level. Kind of crazy, a level twelve mage working at a circus like that. But I don't know. <laughs> 
what do we got here? Mace, quarterstaff, sling. Oh, we sold that quarterstaff. But we have all those wands, which would be great. Level you up. I wish it told me, like, what level they went up to. But a whole bunch of spells, including level 5 spells. And then mage spells up to level 5. Oh, man, that's amazing. Uh, 14 more hit points. And I can do one more proficiency slot. Hmm. I suppose we'll probably want her to have like a sword and shield, right? As a cleric. Mace, quarter, staff, and sling. Yeah, we'll go sword and shield. No, she doesn't look like that kind of cleric. She seems more like a priest with like the mage aspect. Which is kind of cool. So she's now level 9. So it doesn't boost her all the way up to my level. I wonder what the decision on that is. Do they just get like X amount of experience? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe she does have like the same amount of experience that I have. She has 250,000 experience. I have... Oh no, I have way more. Yeah, that would be weird if... Even as a thief getting levels quickly if I was that far ahead. And levels with having the same amount of experience. And everybody else... Everybody else has around 500... Thousand, except for her. Don't they look very similar? <laughs> or am I just being racist? <laughs> Maybe I'm just being racist. Okay. Um, spells. So you have priest spells. There is a priest spell. It's this one, isn't it? it creates a magical bear. The bear moves with the. No. Sanctuary? I don't know this. Oh, remove fear. The priest instills courage and dispels recipients, raising their morale to its highest. The recipient's morale will gradually reset to normal as the duration runs out. If the recipients are affected by magical fears, this is negated. It's a, 50, it's a radius thing. We'll grab one of those. What else does she have? She has Doom. And Sanctuary, as, as well as some heals and some Bless. That's fine. For level 2, you've got Chant. The means of the Chant spell, the priest brings special favor upon himself and his party and causes harm to his enemies. When the Chant spell is completed, all the priest's allies within the area affect gain a plus 1 bonus to attack rolls, minimum damage, healing rolls, saving throws, and saving throws. Furthermore, damage dice for all effects outside of a weapon's base damage is reduced by 1. For example, a 66 fireball will do 65 damage. And an arrow of fire that deals 1d6 with 1d plus blah, 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 blah. Okay. And she's got hold person. I was just firing cold. Is that a silence? Silence, that's a good one. And slow person. Uh, is there anything else we'd want for you? Maybe a second silence would be good. I do like silence. All right, so here we've got Cure Medium Wounds and a Holy Smite. Those are good. Anything else I'd want? Ooh, Paralysis could be good. Cure Disease. We've been get, we've, we've already experienced a couple diseases, haven't we? This might be good. Yeah, we'll get that. What's Holy Smite do? The spell calls upon energy from the positive energy plane in order to open a channel between it and its target. The result is that any evil creature within the spell area of effect takes 1d4 points of damage per level of caster. Or half damage upon a successful saving throw versus spell. If the victim fails or saving throw, they are also blinded for one round. It's a pretty good one. Alright, level 4. Cause serious wounds and cure serious wounds. Animal, cloak of death ward, cloak of death ward. Uh, free action, holy power, lesser, lesser, there's a lot of good stuff in this one. Oof. Um, this spell protects the target from all forms of death magic for the duration of the spell. This includes, but is not limited to, disintegration power word, kill, a power word, kill, death, death spell, and finger of death. I feel like we always want to have one of those just in case we run into those kinds of creatures. Mm. And we'll probably want to cure serious wounds. And you do get one level five, cure critical wounds. 
mask here, raised dead. We do already have somebody with raised dead, but I guess it'd be good to have two people with it. Just in case Jahira dies. And that's your priest spells. Now you also have mage spells, which is interesting. So we've got identify, um, color spray, magic missile, and protection from evil. I don't want to like change these because I want her to have spells to use. We'll have to do this another time. Power word sleep. Is that a um? It's one creature. Stinking cloud. Detect invisibility. Blur. I like blur. We want to have. I I would like to do more buffing this playthrough. I didn't do much buffing in the last game. Remove magic. Is that a dispel? Uh, this is a is the combat version of dispel magic. It will only affect opponents. That sounds great. I do like that actually. She's also got slow and protection from normal missiles. Okay, want that. For level four spells, we got Fire Shield Blue, Improved Invisibility. Yes, please. You know what? Out of these four, I just want two of those. Level five. I just We don't have Fireball on her. That's terrible. Spell Immunity. Shadow Door, Hold Monster, Domination, Minor Spell, Turning. What is Shadow Door? By means of this spell, the wizard creates the illusion of a door. The illusion... Also permits the wizard to appear to step through this door and disappear. In reality, he has darted aside and can flee, totally invisible. Interesting. Spell immunity casting a spell grants the wizard protection from one spell school of his choice. After the spell is cast, the wizard must choose the school he wishes to be protected from. All spells of the school will not be able to harm or aid the caster for the duration of the spell. This includes all spells from this school, including any priest spells that might be might benefit the caster. Okay. How long does it last for? Duration, one round per level. Okay. Spell turning. Spell is similar to the seventh level spell turning, which causes the spells cast against the wizard to be rebound upon the original caster. This affects a total of four spell levels, including spells cast from scrolls and innate spell effects, spell-like abilities, but excludes the following area of effects that are not centered directly upon the wizard, as well as an area effect that are stationary, such as cloud kill and stinking cloud, as long as the spell is cast directly at the wizard, it will be reflected back at the caster. The spell will only affect up to fourth level spells, but as long as there there are level remaining levels remaining, a spell will be reflected. For example, if there is only one level one level left, a third level spell is is cast at the wizard. The spell will be reflected with while canceling the spell turning. If there is only one level left and a third level spell is cast, okay, so I can. Okay, I understand. The spell will not protect the caster from dispel magic, but will not be dispelled by dispel magic either. Hmm. I kind of like that. Let's get that and domination. How long does this last for? Three rounds per level. And you actually know some level six. Ooh, improved haste. Eat. Okay. So that is Ari. I feel like I've heard her name before. Or read her name before when I've like looked at this game. Is she a popular character? She is lawful good. So unfortunately, I hope she's not a popular character because this is very rare that she's gonna it's very unlikely she's gonna like spending time with Heliax. But as it stands right now, we don't have a full party, so she is with us until we uh get everybody else we want. Um, what do you have inventory wise? You've got a traveler's robe, a quarter staff. Can you wear this? Oh, there you go. Put that on. Quarter staff and a sling. Now, I want you to use the sling. We don't have that shield anymore, do we? I can give you these bullets, though. More bullets for you. And that's what you're going to be doing. You're going to be using the sling for now. Probably get your shield at some point too. Um, do you want this necklace? Where's that neck? Oh, you, you do want these wands. For sure. Um, I don't think that'll be good for you, but we'll, we'll give it to you just to see. 
have all these scrolls. Um, see if you can identify that too. And then all these wands. I don't know, maybe she'll have a higher lore than Emma win. I have this necklace. This scroll. Um, give these to you. And give those to her. Put that up here. Okay. I'm just seeing if, like, she has... If, I don't even know if that's possible. If she might be able to identify things that... No, okay. You can have this, though. And that gives you one extra second level wizard spell, which is great. Go ahead and try and learn that. Failed. Put that on your bar. That's the only one we have identified, so you'll take that. And... That does not help you, so... Okay. Well, welcome to the party, Ari. Alright, anywhere else here to go? No. So I guess we go further into the Citadel. Oh my, hello. Is that a shadow? Okay. What do we have? What does this button do? Oh, mage spells. Okay. Do you have a um, turn on dead? How do I get out of here? Yeah. You. This is you do. A lot more exciting Are these undead? Sir. Are those werewolves? Yeah. Is your shadow undead? Go and try it. Some direction. Drink that. Are you getting Minsk your ass kicked, and Minsk? Stand it looks like Turn Undead did work. You need something? Yes, I need you to heal him. Uh, is that your best heal? This is your best heal. Okay. Give me some. Oh, right him. Yes. Use this. Armored, sharpened, and raring to go. There you go. That'll help. You require my counsel. Yes. It's gonna be. I'm waiting. Oh. Yeah. Not aware I was so low. I'll help however I can. Heal him. Must be done. All right. More werewolves. Attack. Good. I and kill the wolf. Man, we are really injured, aren't we? I'm waiting. Get out of there, Heli Axe. Oh my. If I don't get some healing, this is gonna be a real short trip. in Bearvan's name. Can you guys get freaking aggro? God damn it. This is a lot more exciting. All right. There we go. Why aren't you guys a get over here? Give me some direction. Okay. Switch to mage spells. Why can't I cast these? Alright, cast Holy Smite. I'm evil. <laughs> 
Son of a bitch. <laughs> Okay. Well, before we go in there. I hope this is worth it. Yes. So what is going on with our spells here? Why can't we cast these spells? Or can I? Okay. Yeah, I can't cast the mage spells. Why am I not Like, we have them memorized. I'm confused. I'll help however I can. Like, why can't these be used? Is this doing something? Not that I know of. Huh. I don't know. Open this up. I'm gonna take all these out. You can try and learn any that we don't know already. Good. Bad. Good. Electricity protection. Yep. Hmm. Is it because we're armored? Isn't that a thing? What can I do? That's the thing. Okay. Good to know. We can wear this then. I have figured it out. I'm a genius. Uh, yeah. I'll see to it. Okay, save it again. Now we should have a better chance of, you know, doing this what needs to be done here. Exciting than any circus. You point. I Give me some direction. I am ready. Hmm? While they're doing that, I need you to kill the shadow. Let's do this. Quick and and Good. Uh, do you have any more magic missiles? No. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, stinking cloud. Do you have color spray? Does this do damage? Mmm, no. Let's cast that. Looked like it took some damage. Good. Yeah. Get out of there. You. You need something. Heal him. All right. Give me some. I'll have you on him. Oh my god. I'll go on him. You get out of there. Faster than Chick Tika fast pause. If memory fleet a foot and all that. Oh my god. I'll do it. There we go. Must charge, not words. Man, these guys are tough. Give me some direction. I'm there. Jahira. We need some serious healing here. Um, on Minsk. And on Yoshido. Or Yoshimo? Yoshimo. Heliax, drink a potion. Okay. Must be done. Save it. Try and get one werewolf at a time. Yeah. 
you here, I drink a potion. Maybe you hide. Try and get some backstabs in. I'm waiting. It's probably best left to me. Where are you, Mr. Werewolf? I know there's another one of you. Yeah, hey, not a concern. I am ready. Give me some I hope this is worth it. Damn, I missed. Attacking your Shido. So this thing? It's your Shimo. Damn it. <laughs> I'll see to it. Do you hear I'm gonna need you to tank a little better. If you don't mind. Yeah, never give me some direct I'm willing. Another shadow shit. Feel the backhand of justice! Has no effect. I'm waiting. It's done. No no Alright, you get out of there. I need to get a sword. What can I do? Holy smite. Yeah. Run! No Nobody else is evil, right? I don't think so. Weapon has no effect. Okay. Now you just gotta hope Give me somebody some does some damage here. Here we go. I need to be Who did damage? Yoshimo does. Okay. I'm waiting. If it must be done. That holy smite spell is really good. I just gotta make sure Heliax is out of there. All right. What do we got in here? Scroll of web. Okay. And dispel magic scrolls. Airy, go ahead and take these for me. Scroll of web. Failed. Uh, protection from petrification. Glad we got that one. That's a good one to have. Spell magic would have been good too, but that's okay. Okay. Um, should we identify one of these? Probably, huh? This is a wand of magic missile. Actually, those are kind of not that great, are they? That's a fireball one. It could be good. Yeah. It's only one charge, though. Not great. Okay. Um, looking at the time, I think this is a it's good spot to end this me. episode. And the next one, we will continue up into this tent where we got to face... I already forgot. It was a Kala? Something like that. Uh, and deal with him. We are looking pretty injured, which isn't great. What's going on with you? Ability score drained. That's shit. <laughs> But uh, in the next episode, we'll deal with that, and then we'll continue our way exploring the city and potentially getting some more new companions. You have two new people who were not here in the original game with Yoshimo and uh, Ari, which is awesome. But until then, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you later.